have just had a surge in the population and that surge has caused things to happen in life. You know, our lives are being affected on such a dramatic scale that it's hard to really keep up with it. It's hard to really imagine what's going, what it's going to be like in 100 years. I'm not really sure what it's going to be like. And sometimes I think that all hope is gone, that we are failed, that, that, that there's no hope left in humanity, that, that you know, we're, this planet is going to die and there's nothing we can do about it. And it scares me. It scares me. And I, and I just want to come down, come down and relax and just think in a more positive way and just feel the breeze sometimes. I think that's what you got to do, you know, just feel the breeze. Just feel it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm doing today. Just feel it. Look, look at that. See that breeze? It, it really, it really tickles my propeller. See that? Tickles my fancy. Ah, uh, look at that propeller. Ah, uh, it's just energy. Just energy going off. Hello, friends. I'm over here thinking about you. You might wonder why and how is this guy thinking about me when he doesn't even know me? But you gotta think about the fact that I have a banana on my head. It picks up all your thoughts and it puts them into my mind. And I know you think it's insane because you never had a banana on your head before. You've never taken the time to appreciate a banana. But if you take a banana and you duct tape it to your head, you'll start to hear other people's thoughts. It's this insane alien anomaly. You would never think it was real. Like you, you look at it, it's like, dude, this is not real. But it's a real thing. Bananas give you telepathy. Peace, peace, my friends. Peace be with all of you. There's so many things happening, it's hard to put the pieces together. But we need peace for the pieces to be in harmony. So, we take the pieces and we put the pieces together peacefully. And that's when we find that place in our mind where we can find the pieces inside of us. So we have the pieces on the outside and the pieces on the inside. And they count. They count for so much more than you know, than you think. So all you, need, you don't need to be an expert puzzler to do it. Just take it and place them where they feel right. Let's get it. Let's get it, got it good. I just got some new subscribers and I have no idea. I have no idea why you subscribe to me, okay? If you're one of the subscribers, I have no idea why you're here. I don't know, man. I, I'm very confused about what is happening right now. I don't know if I'm just looking like a douchebag asshole with all of these weird things that I'm trying out, but I, I will let you know, I am trying my hardest here you don't really see people go on the extra mile too often, okay? I got a fucking banana hat on for crying out loud, man. I'm not begging anybody to say. I did it because I wanted to feel this fucking banana on my fucking head. It's fucking hilarious, okay? That's why I did it. Welcome, I love you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You found this video... I have no idea how you found this video, but I'll tell you what. You're here, and I'm going to use my magic powers for you. Everything, you have worries, you have troubles, you have things. You know, maybe you want some pot money. Maybe you, maybe you need some money for crack or something. And I'm going to give it to you. I got magic powers here. Guaranteed to help you get your crack money. If that's what you're looking for. Hey, hey, there's a lot of things going on. I can't really blame someone. If they have a crack addiction, okay? No, I'm not going to give you money. I can't support you, but I can give you my magic blessing, okay? That is something I would never take from anyone. At least give them that. I mean, at least give them your magic witchcraft blessing to get some crack. I am a reasonable man, and if you vote for me in presidency, I, you will see me there speaking 
in front of all the people and you will cheer me on and you will love me and you will kiss the screen and you will say, I'm glad I voted for him and I guarantee if you vote for me that I will fix all our problems. I'm not, I don't have to debate. I don't have to prove myself to you. I'm just going to fix it. There's no more griping. There's no more controversy. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to fix it. So vote for me. You'll see me on there. Banana hat guy. <clears throat> Banana hat guy for president. Governor too. And manager. And overseer. And cool fancy guy. Everything. I'm running for it all. I'm in the race. Get in the race. I don't care what happened. I don't care what they said. I don't care what you did. I don't care where you've been. I don't care how you got here. You get out there and you try your best. You try hard. You want to know why? Because you're a fucking soldier, man. You have the heart of a fucking Pegasus. Is that a thing? You have the heart of a lion inside you. Some people just have a human heart. You have a damn lion heart inside. Isn't that a movie, by the way? You have a damn lion heart inside you pumping with a ferocious alpha aggressive goodness inside of you to get things done. You want to know why? You don't want to know why you have it? Because you're better. You're stronger. And you will bite into someone's ass like they're lunch meat. Just here, thinking about life. You know what I'm saying? Thinking about how life works. How, how are we here? How are we here? I have no idea. And then I think about how I'm going to be somewhere. I have to be somewhere, you know? And so I'm going to be a crab one day. I just obsess about this over and over like, I'm going to be born a seal and I'm going to be doing these cartwheels and whirlpools and all this different stuff. And I'm going to be chased by sharks. Ah, oh, it's going to be a good time. And I'm just sitting here imagining what that life is going to be like and just taking that in. You know, I think people need to do that more. Just think about the next life. It's really it's connecting with it. You know, you can, you can think in advance. I took a look at my eyes today and... Jesus Christ, is it just me or do I have some circles? Jesus, is it really that bad? I don't really know if it's that bad, but I've been working pretty hard. I've been working my ass off. And let me just tell you a little bit about what I've been doing. I make cartoons. Um, I have no idea why. I mean, I guess I love it. You know, I know why. I know why I'm making the cartoons. I love it. And I feel like other people, if the right people watching then they will love it. Other than that, wrong people watch them and they're just like, oh, this sucks, this is terrible. I just love making characters. And I'm trying to make a, a show, like a good show. And, and I'm doing everything, it's just me. And I think that's it's better that way, you know, it can be a lot more chill when you, when you don't feel like you're in this environment where you're working against people, you know. It's a lot chill. I feel so bad for so many people and it's, it's hard to realize what's really going on and to feel, you know, and you feel sad for so many people. And it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to help people, man. You know, especially when it takes, it can take a lot to help someone and you don't even know if you're going to help them. And um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of situations, man. There's a lot of things happening that are complicated. Scientifically, you know, social science, psychology, you know space man it's crazy you know and, and all i can really do though is just you know it's not that i want to ignore it but i just want to try to be happy the best of my ability you know what i'm saying that's all i can really do
shit fucking happens, you know? I think a lot of people experience the same thing, you know? Like, they have to look at what someone else has and you envy that person or you think of what you are and it, it makes you feel less significant, like you don't have a purpose or, you know, something happens and, it, and you don't notice how it affects you. Like, that's what I'm... It's like the serious thing. It's this thing that happens, you know? Because you like... People like to think they're strong, man. They like to think they have it together. That's what people generally do. And it's not that they don't so much as like sometimes things happen and you don't realize how much it's it's messing with you. And until you get that out of you, until you start expressing that, until you become comfortable, you know, you're it, it's still going to fuck with you. It's still going to mess with you. And that can be a challenge to find the right person to talk to. Do not believe anything that's going on online. That's what I got to say. Don't believe anything that's happening online. What do I mean? All this shit, okay? It turns people into monsters. It turns them into, you know, it just turns them into someone they're not. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I think you got to think about who you really are because some people, they don't even know who they are. You know, they don't know their purpose. They don't know what they, they're, it's like they're not even living life. Like they're not even here. You know what I'm saying? But like all this shit that's going on, you know, and, and you start comparing yourself to other people, you know, you just need to, to give up on it. Just just let it go, you know, because a lot of people when, when you the, they're trying to be remembered and stuff, because as us as humans, we find a purpose in our impact and our influence. And you can't let these certain things get you down. You know what I'm saying? Something I noticed about history and about people, humans something they do they want to be significant if you ever notice it's it's kind of in our competitive nature but they want to be you know what i'm saying they want to be like like you ever notice how it's like some people they try really hard to be remembered to to be noticed to be to be something and it's because it's in our blood man to 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 overachieve to do things that make us feel like it's like a paradox it's like we as humans we as creatures we as this have this this notion of what we need to do or what we need to achieve and all this but it gets mangled and it's like we can't even just see life through our eyes because we're controlled by these impulses by these things like like working so hard to be remembered or do something i feel like everything is like a soggy puzzle you know what I'm saying? Like a soggy puzzle. Like you're trying to put this fucking puzzle together and it's just soggy. It's just wet the pieces. Of, you know what I'm saying? Like a soggy puzzle. You're trying to put it together. Like politics and everything. Everything, man. And see, there's a lot of different people trying to put this puzzle together. And I know this is a metaphor, but you know what I'm saying? It's just like things are so complicated, so confusing. It's like you're trying to mash these puzzle pieces together that don't they don't fit and sometimes you put a puzzle piece in the wrong place and it fits just because it's soggy and it doesn't you know the puzzle's all messed up and you're trying to make this picture perfect fucking this this piece and then it just it turns out all ugly and fucked up you know what i'm saying that's what i kind of see like and it's like you know so what do you do what do you do you know what i'm saying it's like i don't know you know you it's 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 that it's that way once you realize i think it, i don't want it to be that way you know, like, like, you know, like, it's like that, like, oh, it's like that, bitch, you know, it's like, oh, it's like that, oh, I see how it is, <sighs> I know that, uh, um, people might not know what I'm talking about, because you just came in to this video, and you're like, who the fuck, what is this guy talking about, but what I mean is, you know, when it's like that, when it's like that, when, it, when it's you against them, when it's fend for yourself, when, when, when you're part of an economy, and you're this building block of this economy, and you got to fucking, place your bricks in the right spots you know what i'm saying you have to you have to do that you have to you know put that cement in and, and you know grind it out and shit it's not always easy man for everyone especially when you got it's almost like we shame people based on what we have or we don't have and it's like dude you know a lot of people are in situations they can't really help you know okay i'm gonna tell a story and hopefully it can help some people Maybe not. Maybe no one will watch this video. But, uh, you gotta, you know, I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of naive, there's always gonna be naive people. There's always gonna be people that, 
that aren't taught right by the parents or they don't learn certain things or they gotta make, go make mistakes and learn shit on their own. Um, But it's crazy just what people will do in a conversation. And it's sometimes I think they don't even realize what they're doing, but sometimes they're so desperate. Like, like I was trying to, I was trying to sell this car, right? And, uh, and this, this chick's like telling me her whole life story. And she's like, you know, like, oh, I got, I, I'm single with kids and, and all this. And it's like, I don't even know she's trying to make me feel sorry for, her, but it's like, damn, like, what the hell, man? Like, that's not my fault. I think what uh, one thing that people got to realize it to a certain extent, there are things that you could do. There's a lot of things going on in a lot of different countries, a lot of different walks of life, a lot of different cultures. But to a certain extent, I mean, I like it's hard not to blame yourself or I know a lot of people, they don't have a conscience anyway, so they don't blame themselves. They don't think it's a bad thing. They don't, you know. But here's what I think is you you can't blame yourself, but you, like how are you supposed to just make an, an excuse that, you know, and just let it be, you know, let the problem get worse, you know, and that's kind of vague. That's kind of generalized. But I think to a certain extent, you can't blame yourself. But to another certain extent, like, you can't just sit there and make excuses and act like, oh, yeah, you know, it's not your obligation. It's hard, though. It's hard. It's a hard situation. With that, I'm out. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm over here doing good. I'm over here doing good. You always say you're, you always say you're like, you know, I'm just in the order of the noise. I ain't doing all the things you say anymore, man. It's all lies. It's all lies, man. They always try to say things. I was trying to make you understand. They always try to say to you, see, these these little things. And no one cares. No one cares. No one. No one likes you. No one cares. Blah, 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 blah. You're this. You're that. You're this. You're that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean I'm into that. I don't mean that. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's all cool. Over here. It's irrelevant to my situation over here, man. It's irrelevant. So I'm staying in the cool. I'm staying in the good. I'm staying in the feeling, man. I'm staying with it. And what are you doing? What are these people doing, man? You're either outside of the feeling. You can't, you can't side with these people. You're outside of it. I'm gonna just make a couple videos, just trying out this new trending stuff. <laughs> trying it out, seeing where it gets me, seeing what I can do, seeing if I can make a little splash in this big ocean we have. <laughs> this big ocean of videos. <laughs> There's a lot of videos in there. Woo! You're swimming, you're swimming, you're swimming, you're swimming, and you don't even know where you're gonna go. You don't even know what you're gonna do. But you're there. Swim, 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 swim. So I figured I'd see if I could make a splash. <laughs> you do like three backflips and then lean up the water, and then uh, it gets everyone wet, and they notice, and then and they're like, whoa, that was really good. I'm gonna watch this guy, and I'm gonna subscribe to him, follow him, and I'm gonna lick his butthole. Okay, wait, that was a little bit far. I know it was a little far, but I'm trying to make a splash. I have to go a little bit far if I'm gonna make a splash. You know, you know, you just don't understand. I mean, the the, the higher you, uh, the bigger splash you'll make. And the more flips you do, the more people will give you a gold medal. And then they'll give you the gold medal and put it around your neck and they'll say, Hey, good job. I want to see this guy again. I'm going to stick around and see what he got. Because this guy over here isn't as good. This guy's not going to his energy. But this guy, energy. I should really quit, but I'm not going to quit. I'm making a big, a big explosion. I'm making a big drop here. I'm making a big noise. I'm making a big impact on, on the community, on, on the things that are going around. These community videos keep us going, man. You, you want these community videos. And there's only so much you can do with just some guy talking to a camera. I mean, there's only so much you could do with that. And that being said, I mean, but I, I gotta keep running. I gotta keep running like I'm the roadrunner, you know what I'm saying? And no one's gonna catch me. You know, you could be Wiley Coyote all you want. And I know a lot of people won't get this reference. You'll see, but what the hell is this guy talking about? But the one guy who gets it, he might laugh. He might be like, oh, 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 <laughs> and then he comes back again, 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 because he knows what it's like to be me, and he knows what it's like to be him, and he knows what it's like to feel connected, and I know I feel connection by making these videos. I know I feel at one here, feeling the connection today. I'm feeling at one. I'm just feeling it, man. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know, like, the content of the my vibe or anything. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just making the video. I have no idea what the fuck is happening anymore. I'm just putting stuff out there. And I think that's what you gotta, you gotta just do is like energy blast the screen just with this laser beam and, and, and do it. Laser beam it, man. And just sit around. Laser beam the damn screen. Laser beam it.
You can't just sit around here and oh, I expect things to happen. It was because of this, it was because of that, it was because of this, it was because of that. Laser beam it. And that's how you get things done around here, son. You put a good laser beam, good shine, good energy, direct, direct impact, and you're in. Hello, everybody. I'm here making some videos today, having a very good time. Oh, um, uh, I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, but I'm just making these videos because... Because a lot of people are making videos, this popular thing to do is just making videos, and I'm not even sure what I'm really doing, but it's fun. It's fun and it's interesting, but I wish I could have a beginning, middle, and end. I should probably make different videos. I should probably make different videos, but I'm making these videos. Um, who are you to complain? Who are you going to tell me that you don't want to watch? I mean, they're pretty good at the videos. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> but it is, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to beg anyone. I don't want to beg anyone. I don't, I don't really, really know what the secret is anymore, man. I don't even know what the secret is to, to, to doing this, to making it. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just... I think it's just, it's just putting stuff out there and just, I don't, I don't know, man. Jesus Christ, people are so hard on themselves. They're so concerned, 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 concerned. And it's just like, dude, I'm just making a video. Just bloop, bloop, plop, plop, plop. That's all it really is. Just a little video, man. You know what I need to do? One, I need to comb my hair and hop in the shower. Two, I just need to chill the fuck out. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. <sighs> My mind is just like mangled metal. It's just scrambled, you know? There are so many things that are just pushing me, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me over a lot of things. Just things that are in life right now. And I'm just like, just need to find that center somehow. Like, you got to do it somehow. I don't know how, but I got to just calm, chill. I was looking at the skyline out here. Uh, you can see the, the trees and stuff. And it looks like we're in one hell of a year of weather. It looks like we're gonna have a tsunami or something serious is gonna happen this year. I'm not really sure, but I've been looking and seeing these different changes in the pattern. And uh, weatherman Seth here giving it to you first. Um, <clears throat> you have to keep keep up to date with what I'm doing because I can show you some very interesting things. I have some very unique observations about the landscape here, being a meteorologist for however long I've been. I can see certain things that other people can't see and. I can offer you the, the weather in a different way and it, it really becomes quite the experience with me here because the weather you can see the skyline and the shine right on the glimmer is, is, is something to be concerned about so I'm out here being very concerned I'm a very very concerned citizen about the weather out here today I'm looking at all the things that are going on and I tell you what we're in for one hell of a year here um, as you can see, the trees behind me look very withered and brittle, and it looks like there's some things going on with the oceans, because we're destroying our oceans and our forests and everything else, and it's affecting the weather around me, and I have a very good sense of taste. I can taste it in the air. Every time, every time something's wrong, I have this instinctive taste, or I can taste when they're doing things they shouldn't be when they're slaughtering whales or dolphins but i didn't want to get into that too much because i watched a documentary and it kept me up till three in the morning last night and let me tell you what i am scared for those creatures out there i'm very scared and so i'm just here out observing the weather and giving it a good taste a good lick and seeing what it's like today it doesn't taste good i'm out here just getting a good taste of the weather just out here trying to see oh uh, what what, what I can do and what can be done and seeing um, all the, the beautiful things out here today and uh, I'm recognizing all of the things that are going on and I just watched a documentary I got to tell you about this documentary because it kept me up all night I was up all night watching this and it shocked me so much it's like it's got shock value and that's the thing but some people don't realize what they're watching sometimes is it has shock value attached to it and when it shocks you with these facts and these things that happen oh my gosh my my, my thingy up here is really taking off it, it must be getting a little bit windy that means it gets a little bit too windy it must get inside but these documentaries 
there's some very serious things to be concerned about because they, they shock you and then you're laying up in bed until five in the morning thinking about what happened. It can be a very disturbing experience. If this goes off too much, if it spins too much, that means that I might have to go inside. Um, it, it, it seems like a nice day out here. It's like those the, the degrees that you might want to put on a hoodie or something. You might need some weather uh, insulation here. I mean, it's pretty nice out, but it could be a lot worse. Um, I think that, you know, it's good It's good to have a good knowledge and base about what, what is really going on when you're outside because you never know when weather can hear, hit you. And as long as you're up to date with what I'm doing, I, I give you the news first. So you'll be notified if there's any changes in the weather because I am an expert meteorologist. I can see when the storm's coming. I can see when the snow's coming down. And I can see every unique snowflake in itself. I can see the edges and the circulation of the air. I can feel it in my lungs and I can, I can just give you something special here. There's a car coming, so I'm probably going to weird them out, but that's okay. It's completely fine. So we got a car here. I think it's the only person, I'm trying to avoid being seen with this gear on because it's really strange, it's really weird. But I think that if you just do something as simple as weird gear like this, you can really change the, the area, you can really change the, the vibe of what's going on sometimes when you do one little simple thing. Sometimes all it takes is a little wink or a little smile to change someone's life. I mean, that person had a very shitty, terrible band. The side panel was replaced or something, I don't know, but but anyways sometimes all it really takes is just a little simple hat like this to get someone get someone going in the morning <laughs> you know because they see the hat and they feel the color in their soul and then and then they know that they want to swim in the ocean but there's a lot of blood in the ocean because they're slaughtering sharks whales and dolphins and i mean we got to get out there and save them folks put your hand up we're gonna save them we're gonna save them just because you declare yourself an activist that doesn't make you a good person but me, me personally, I'm an actor who acts as an activist. So I act as an activist in different acts. So then I'm able to touch all the different areas. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when you're an activist, you only get to spend so much time on one thing. But me making videos as an actor doing an actor acting as an activist, I can act as any activist that I want. And then I can portray all these things out there and get all the messages out there. So essentially, I'm like, I'm like the, the messenger. I'm like the guy that brings the message to the king and then they might kill him or not depending on how ruthless they are. I don't know, it's in some movies and stuff. But so uh, so I'm just a simple messenger out here. I mean, I can really feel the, the, the effect on the sunlight that's coming from the slaughtering of the of the, 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 the marine life out there. And I gotta say, there's a huge difference. If you, if you have the sensitive touch, you can tell, you can feel it. I am so good at sensing weather. I can sense it in an instant. It's really amazing. It's really incredible what really goes on with me psychologically. I'm a freak. I'm a freak of nature. I'm different. I'm I'm very unique because I'm the, I'm, I'm I have an incredible gift of meteorology. I can tell you what's going really going on with the sunlight and the things and how the sunlight's hitting you and it's absorbing only so much of a percentage of into your skin and then you feel the earth around you and sometimes it's overwhelming. Sometimes you, you don't really know what you're feeling. And, and, and so I, you have a person like me that can give you insight into what you're feeling in the air and in the air that you're breathing. And so you can go outside and be confident that you're breathing the right air because sometimes violent things get in the air. You can feel the crime in the air. You can feel things in the air and you don't want to bring that to breathe that stuff in, but sometimes you're forced to. And that's why you got me because I'm going to tell you what's really going on with the air and how, how good it is. I'm out here. I'm out here. Uh, I've been thinking really hard about my life. I've been re thinking really hard about the things that are going on in my life. And I feel like there are certain things that we shouldn't do or certain things that are changing that we should consider. Like for example, posting videos online. Sometimes it's better to just put the videos online and not worry about how many people are watching them. And I know, I know people think that it's useless effort. But if you really know yourself, if you really are confident in yourself, if you really believe in yourself enough, you can you can put anything online and be totally okay with it. And that's the goal of what, what I'm experiencing right now. What I'm doing right now is I'm feeling it in my heart and soul and I'm putting it out there. And I know that everyone, everyone out there will sing and glide and glide on the ocean because the oceans are gonna be saved because, because we're gonna stop destroying our, the, the earth. You know what's gonna happen? This is what's gonna happen to the planet, okay? 
it's, it's all green it's all it's all blue and green and blue right now but it's gonna end up a dirt quad it's gonna end up a dirt quad just dirt it's just gonna end up this ball of dirt swimming around in the universe because you want to know why because we destroyed it we destroyed everything the trees the oceans everything got destroyed is that what you really want it's just that what you really want because that's our future man is a dead planet is a dead you know and you don't really you know people just don't really get it it's like it's like an everyday thing but you know you just don't listen to the scientists we don't listen to the scientists and you know when, when we compete against each other it's what forces us to be so greedy to make money because we have to we have to do things in, in order to get paid and sometimes you you do things that you shouldn't be doing and that's that's the big problem that's the big issue that we're facing is is greed that's the problem there's a lot of people saying a lot of different things there's a lot of changes that need to happen in the world. But one thing I noticed is greed is, is everything. Greed is what's causing us to rip down the forces, to burn out this stuff. You know, we sell these cars. It's all greed. It's all greed. We destroy the oceans. We do all these things. And it all comes from greed. Now, now you got to think about that too. Where does greed come from? Well, it comes from an economic system that forces people to compete against one another. And when you compete against another one, that's where the greed comes. That's where the problems come. That's why we're struggling so much is because we're competing. That's the problem is we're competing against each other. Now, there's nothing wrong with some healthy competition. You know, some people, their purpose is to compete. It's to make them feel good, to be different, to, to offer people something. But if you really think about it, competing is evil. Sometimes I get scared and sometimes I think about things and I, and I, and it's like, I shouldn't have ever thought these things. And I look at other people and I, they're not thinking these things. They're not, they don't have, they don't care. They're just passing me by. But I have this mind and I have these thoughts and I have these things. And sometimes it's like people are just passing me by. They don't really observe me. It's not their problem. It's not their fault. How do I get into this mess where I think these things and I have such high stress, have such high anxiety that I, you know, it's like I can't turn back once I start thinking it. And so I have to sit there and meditate and get at one and I have to be at peace. You have to be at peace, man. And, and that's one thing I've been working towards is just letting go of it. Just being okay, just letting it just dissolve and just living in the day and just feeling fine, feeling fine. You know what I think is one of the most important things I've learned? Don't pay attention. But, we, you know, and I made a couple of videos on this, but if you don't pay attention, sometimes then you're ignoring the problem. It's like, you, it's just an excuse. You know, it's just excuse after excuse. And we, we you know, we, we have only so much time in a day. There's a street sleeper coming by. I'll prove it. See it? It's pretty loud, but, uh, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, attention. Sometimes the more you pay attention to things, the more trouble it's going to cause you. Okay. Now, you, you, I think the thing is about whenever you're thinking, Whenever you think you can get in trouble, that's that's the problem is sometimes you think and you get in trouble. And uh, when you think, <clears throat> I think sometimes you just need to think logically. Like these are the solutions. These are the things we can do to, to help this situation and to keep calm emotionally. Just calm, peace, good. Everything's fine. So I've been thinking about a lot of things in life, including uh, deleting this video because there's a street sweeper going by. But it's a really nice day, so I thought I'd throw on my propeller hat out here and get get, it, get out here and absorb some of the sunlight. Because, you know, you only live once, and sometimes when you're out there with a propeller hat, you can kind of weird people out, because all they do is really they just sit in their house and watch movies and shit. And they watch people be unique on TV and stuff, and that entertains them, but they can't get out here and be unique. I'm probably the most unique person in a, in a square radius of, I don't know, square radius of something. I don't, I don't know a... It's pretty deep out here. It's pretty deep, man. I'm going in deep. I'm feeling in. I'm feeling the waves. I'm surfing that wave. And it feels incredible. It just feels incredible right now. It feels so at one. And I just, the sunlight coming in and I can feel the weather. Just meteorologist vibes here. Woo. It's a very difficult situation, okay? It's very difficult. <clears throat> Many situations, okay? Now, I know a lot of people just don't care what I have to say, but... What I, what I, what a person can say can save your life. What a person does 
can save your life. It can make you, it can make you, uh, you know, it can make you form this, 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 this union inside of yourself and your heart and your soul where you're able to see past things, where you're, ever, where you're able to love yourself and believe in yourself because, you know, you believe in your perspective and in things that you're doing. And that's what you need to do. You need to get to that logical state of mind <laughs> to where you're focusing on the right things because that's what it's really about it's about focusing on the right things focusing on the right things and being at one with that and that's how you're really going to make progress that's how you're going to get from point a to point b and that's how you're going to feel good so you feel good and that's what you do you feel electrocuted electrocuted zappy zapping zapping it zapping it out i don't know why people have to always resort to drugs and, and, and cigarettes and alcohol and stuff i think that sometimes uh, people just have low self-esteem you know you know that they're just doing what they what the, the as much as it sucks to say it they they started to do something to fit in and then once they start fitting in that's when, that's when they find a purpose and it's sad because you know there's a lot of different places you can go to find a purpose but sometimes people just waste away because they can't see something that they they can't put themselves in that mind state to really enjoy doing something they can't actually legitimately live their life and do something and sometimes you do it enough and then, and then it just gets, you know, overdrawn and over, you know, it gets to a point where it's just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to, you got to feel that energy. You got to feel it and you got to roll with it. You got to move. You got to move. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to shift your mind, shift. You know, when I woke up the other day and I decided I need to change my mind. I need to change my whole mindset, everything that's going through my head right now. I need to, I need to bring it into a different world. I need to bring it into a different direction. You know, what do you, what do I mean? I need to take everything that's going on. It's all these stresses, all these worries, all these things. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. And so I need to take all these things and I need to shift them in my head to a different place. And that's what I've done today. Essentially, I had a really bad day today and I ended up shift everything that was going on into a new direction. I took all that energy, I burnt it off and I gave myself some good energy, meditation, visualization, and I was able to change everything that was going on in my day, turn it around 100%. And now I just feel so incredible, so incredible. And, and, and I just like, I, you know, I just, I can't express that enough how valuable that kind of thing is. I think that some people are lost, but it's, you know, they, they don't really, I think that sometimes people think that they're so disconnected from other people, but something that they don't understand is there's so many people out there and there's so many different communities and people online you really, you know, you really have no choice. You really have no excuse not to be entertained. And I think that sometimes people are entertained by not being entertained. Because hey, there's so much entertainment out there, you can become overwhelmed to the point to where, you know, you just get to this point where you just fall flat on your face and then you, nothing out there is really doing the trick. And then you're left wondering, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? And then you have to decide, you have to, you have to roll with it. You have to get in that mode where you're able to do what you have to do. And that's how you get there. That's how you swim. That's how you fly like a bird in the sky. And, that, and that's the grace. That's the grace of it. I don't really have any life advice, really. It seems like people try to give life advice out and they're just trying to scam you. They're just trying to get a moment of your time. They're trying to entertain you. They're trying to get you, get your attention and shit like that. You know what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that guy. Okay, I don't want to be that guy sitting there desperate thinking that, that other people should 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 like him should should feel him should understand him or anything i want to be the guy that's that's understanding like i understand your problems like i you know i don't understand your problems eh? that's that's the understanding of the problems is you don't understand the problems i think if, when you don't understand the problems it's really hard because you <laughs> it, it, it puts you in a difficult situation and, and then you, you can't really understand, but and the person says, hey, I, you don't understand what it's like to be me. And you're, like, and you're like, yeah, I know. And I understand that I don't understand. So that's how I understand is by understanding that I don't understand. So you just have to be a one with the whole understanding thing because it gets a little confusing. <laughs> what I notice a lot is people are afraid to talk about things. Especially if you confront them, you know, you start confronting people and they can get really defensive, especially some of the companies out there. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of things out there. You know, people start asking questions, they start digging around. And you know, it's like, the system is broken. The system failed. The system is failing us. The system is broken. The system has failed. There's things happening that, you know, 
it's just like holy shit man you sit there and wonder why what the fuck is going on and you know what what is really going on because it's hard to really pinpoint it when you have so much shit and you believe in one thing and then you're just a product of this, another person's political standpoint the political opinion they're a political outreach to get something done to make you pay attention to them so it's really a difficult situation but i think that there there's a lot going on that needs to be fixed and it's, it's just hard that manpower you know there's so many things you know what the truth is you want to know why there are there isn't help for people there's too many people occupied okay there's too many occup people occupied for themselves but there's too many people occupied on things that you know they have to do you know and, and that's the thing is you have to care for yourself you have to do these things a lot of the time you have to live your life and and, and in order to for things to get done and for in order for things to get regulated in order for things to change you need to people occupy that specific thing there needs to be people out there you know keeping our oceans safe there needs to be people you know you know you know figuring out how you know we can move these farmers in the right direction to get things done to to, to change our habitat to change what the damage that we've done and you know if you really think about the damage it's, it's sort of natural damage but it's gotten to the point where it's almost unnatural with an overwhelming amount of people.